We return to the story of a Texas man convicted of killing a Black Lives Matter protester. There will be a pre-sentencing hearing for the Army Sergeant this morning, but Texas Governor Greg Abbott has already signaled that a pardon is coming. John Canonis is in Fort Worth with the story. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. At first, this seemed like an open and shut case. A few days ago, a man who shot and killed a Black Lives Matter protester was convicted of murder. Well, this morning, that killer could come one step closer to being a free man. Daniel Perry was convicted of murder last Friday in the fatal shooting of 28-year-old Garrett Foster. This morning, a date for his sentencing will be set and he could face life in prison. But now, all eyes are on Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who has signaled a possible pardoning under state law. Posting on Twitter, I have made that request and instructed the board to expedite its review. I look forward to approving the board's pardon recommendation as soon as it hits my desk. The Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles responding, saying they will be commencing that investigation immediately. The governor's announcement undermines the rule of law here in the state of Texas, and I think undermines our public safety. What the governor said is that the people don't matter and their voices don't matter. Someone got shot. In July 2020, the white 12 year military veteran was driving for a ride share company when he pulled up to a street with a crowd protesting the police killing of George Floyd. Police say that's when Foster, also white and an Air Force veteran, approached Perry's car while carrying an AK 47 type rifle, which is legal in Texas. Foster was then shot by Perry multiple times with a handgun Perry legally owned. Someone got shot. With Texas having one of the strongest stand your ground laws for self-defense, attorneys for Perry say he had no choice but to shoot Foster for his own protection. But prosecutors say Perry could have fled the scene instead. At the sentencing hearing, the judge will have the opportunity um, to hear from the family member of the victims in this case to hear about the impact of this crime on them. Meanwhile, Perry's attorney telling ABC News, many people have reached out to express a desire to speak on Daniel's behalf. The pardon process, however, is outside our control. The Board of Appeals should understand that there's a process and that this premature at this juncture to say, Let's consider pardoning somebody when they haven't even yet been sentenced. Foster's family speaking out, saying they just want justice for Garrett. It's been two and a half years since my son's death, and we finally got some semblance of justice on Friday. And um, less than 24 hours later, it was just the rug was pulled out from underneath me, and I'm right back here where I was immediately after my son's death. At his sentencing, Daniel Perry could wind up getting life in prison. But as we said, all that can be negated if the parole board does exactly what the governor is urging them to do, issue that pardon. It would be highly unusual, but the governor has a lot of power over this process. He appoints every one of those board members and can easily fire them. Michael. All right, John, we can see how tough this is on the family. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.